Hi everyone, this is Anisa. I am a correspondent with the print, and today we have with us Ani Raja, senior CPI leader and party's candidate from Wayanad. Hi, ma'am. Namaskaram. Uh, ma'am, I just wanted to know, like, uh, so with your uh, with the party announcing your candidacy from the Wayanad seat. Uh, both state and the nation is looking at the seat and everybody is expecting a tough battle uh, there. So could you please tell us how and why the party chose you there? You see, uh, in Kerala, um, the electoral battle is between two fronts. Number one is uh, the uh, left democratic front and the other one is the number two is uh, united democratic front. That is LDF versus UDF. This is uh, the practice or this is the uh, electoral uh, combinations uh, uh, for a, uh, for the last so many years. So um, it is, uh, of, uh, whether it is for the assembly election, whether it is for the uh, parliament election, this is the two combinations and alliances. And uh, based on this, um, uh, uh, in our left friend, uh, uh, CPI has got uh, four seats. Uh, Vayanad, Trishur, Mavelikara, and uh, Trivandrum. And uh, CPI uh, as a party, uh, independent party, it has announced its um, um, candidates, uh, name of candidates yesterday itself. And uh, 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 we, uh, the uh, uh, other candidates uh, from the other left parties, they, that also announced today. So the left uh, friend has decided to contest in all the 20 seats. And uh, uh, according to the seat sharing, all uh, the uh, uh, independent organization means the, the constituent parties have also announced their candidates. It is nothing, um, uh, uh, nothing conspicuous or nothing secretive or nothing, no hidden agenda uh, behind this. It is a process uh, to to uh, uh, to before the uh, the election. That's it. There nothing more, nothing less. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so uh, your husband D Raja has been working closely with Rahul Gandhi as part of India Limbs. So how do you think uh, this is going to balance uh, when you're standing? Uh, oh. Yeah, I very strongly object to your uh, statement that uh, my husband D Raja. Uh, I am uh, a communist party uh, in communist party, and I am in communist parties. Uh, I am one of the member of the national executive, and uh, I have my own. I am the general secretary of National Federation of Indian Women, and I have my own uh, uh, independent identity and all. Uh, this is the problem with uh, the uh, our society that uh, women are always attached with uh, whether uh, the father. Uh, a man, whether it is the husband a man or the son a man or a, a, a brother a man. So that is, I uh, strongly object to that. It is not because of uh, uh, I'm D. Raja's uh, uh, partner, the party has allotted the seat. Party has allotted the seat to a party uh, comrade and the uh, uh, party has given me uh, a lot of responsibilities, organizational responsibilities in the, in the past. And still, uh, even uh, today, I am doing that. Now, party has given me a different uh, responsibility. That's it. So, um, party and the left friend, uh, CPI, as a, a constituent party of the left friend, we as left friend will uh, uh, contest. Uh, we uh, fight uh, all the 20 seats. It is nothing special about the, the Wayanad seat. Uh, so, saying that uh, both you and Brinda Karat has said uh, Rahul should uh, reconsider contesting from Wayanad. And he won the seat last time with a huge mandate also. So I was asking why you should think uh, he should reconsider. You see, the uh, point is that uh, uh, for what we are all contesting, whether it is Congress or whether it is the left uh, uh, candidates, and what is the uh, biggest danger uh, before us. Why this election we all consider the, at least the left parties, left front is considering this election as so crucial uh, and uh, important for the, uh, not only for the uh, the country, but uh, as a people as a whole, uh, it is so important. All sections of the people, this uh, uh, election is so important because this election is, uh, 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 is to uh, defeat the fascist forces 
that is our politics that is our position and these fascist forces rss bjp combined which is in power today they are undermining they are dis they are destroying uh, uh, the constitution and the constitutional values particularly the democracy and the secularism so uh, this uh, election is to save the country its constitution constitutional values and uh, uh, to, to to uh, 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 reclaim this country as a country of uh, uh, people who belongs to or who believes in different uh, religion or who believes in no religion or a uh, uh, different caste and uh, uh, all those things. So that is the important. So uh, 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 Comrade uh, Brinda, what uh, she was uh, saying that uh, Congress party should and uh, Rahul Gandhi should uh, realize the importance of this election. Yes, ma'am. When we look at Congress, its presence has been shrinking in the northern states and it's doing relatively better, better in some southern states, including Kerala. So how can we like can we uh, like blame them for trying to maximize their gains in South, South India? No, uh, 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 the point is that um, left parties have a position that is the India is facing the uh, fascist uh, danger and uh, 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 the the uh, all the pillars of indian democracy is uh, um, engrossed upon by the uh, uh, fascist forces and weakened it and it is the indian democracy is almost uh, uh, at the verge of uh, collapse and at this point of time we need to uh, bring in together the left democratic and secular forces together to uh, to uh, uh, to save this country that is the uh, position of our left front and uh, i am sure that congress is also saying that so when um, uh, when uh, congress um, or uh, leaders uh, national leaders of congress contest against left parties what are they going to gain this is what they should and what is their politics what, what how can they uh, mobilize more strength to defeat the fascist forces, if at all they want to defeat the fascist forces? So that is the question we are raising. And uh, it is, uh, it is uh, yes, Congress is an independent party. It is their prerogative. They can decide on their uh, candidate, uh, who uh, should be candidate where and all. That is their, absolutely their uh, prerogative and we respect that. But uh, at the same time, the the larger question should be uh, kept in mind. That's it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so we talk when we talk about India Alliance, CPI is part of the India Alliance. Uh, but in Kerala, uh, the both parties, CPI and uh, Congress, are fighting against each other. So how, what do you think that uh, the message is giving to the like you know uh, voters outside Kerala basically about you the party? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Kerala, uh, as I uh, uh, from the very beginning, uh, beginning of our conversation, I told you that Kerala uh, is having an entirely different, uh, uh, well settled, one can say that uh, almost settled uh, two com combinations, uh, LDF and UDF. And when even at the formative stage of the India Alliance or even subsequent uh, meetings, uh, the um, uh, we have made it very clear to all those parties. Even uh, Congress is also very much there uh, uh, as a uh, uh, big party, and we said that uh, look, uh, this uh, uh, um, the, in Kerala, this is the combination, and that will continue. That is number one. Number two is that uh, according to e uh, situations in uh, uh, each state. The, uh, the, the the alliance will be there, but uh, the uh, final effort should be to have all the uh, uh, the um, left democratic and uh, secular parties together. That is what. So uh, there is nothing um, new in the uh, in the the Kerala uh, uh, setup. Uh, where LDF uh, versus UDF that is there for quite some time and it is uh, the, it, there is no uh, conspiracy behind that it is there these two combinations are there and uh, we are fighting uh, uh, the battle the electoral battle 
and uh, 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 assembly, whether it is assembly election or the parliament election. So mm -hmm. that everyone knows, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And uh, as uh, left parties, we said that uh, um, uh, we, we, we will be uh, in the forefront uh, of, of the fight to defeat the fascist forces, whether it is inside parliament or outside parliament. And we are the one, the left uh, uh, party and its representatives. Nobody can uh, do any any anything uh, to them, uh, and uh, nobody can even try to uh, win over them by showing some uh, or sending the IDED or uh, ITED or anything, or uh, even uh, by hook or crook. No, the, that that is we our our position is. Uh, our position is based on our ideology. That ideology is uh, uh, deep rooted uh, in in our minds, and in the in the, uh, in the uh, part we work based on that ideology. That's a people's ideology, and we cannot uh, um, uh, contest the election just to win a seat. We are winning. We want to win the seat. That is to save this country. Nothing uh, personal. Yes. Uh, what are your hopes on winning the seat? Uh... You see, it is not only my hope. Uh, we all the twenty seats in Kerala Parliament seats. We are contesting these seats to win, and uh, this win of uh, 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 LDF uh, candidates is uh, so important uh, uh, in the struggle or in the fight against uh, fascist forces or for. Um, uh, safeguarding our secular democratic fabric of uh, this country. Yes, ma'am. Also, uh, about when when we come to INR, uh, the district has its own issue and it has been seeing a lot of wildlife attack and all recently. So, when when we talk about your campaign, what are the issues are you going to raise? And uh, no, we, we all will. Uh, it is not only in Vayanad. Uh, generally, in Kerala, many of the districts are affected by the wildlife uh, uh, issue and uh, in uh, but in Vayanad uh, recently what the 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 attacks by the uh, elephants and uh, the uh, all other wild animals it is uh, very it is really a concern for everyone it is uh, uh, um, uh, a real concern for everyone uh, so um, there must there, we need to do um, um, so many things which can um, uh, ensure the confidence of the people uh, that uh, these uh, wildlife attacks will not be there or we can prevent that. For that, we need to sit with the people. People are, uh, uh, they are there, they are facing uh, the problem. So uh, there may, I'm sure that they will have some, uh, so many uh, suggestions to how to uh, uh, stop or how to prevent the wild animals coming into the mainland and attacking people, killing people, and uh, 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 even the uh, the the uh, uh, other sorts of attacks. So uh, that is how it, uh, it is. Uh, not any one person's uh, uh, pro uh, the res uh, responsibility, or uh, there is no magic one. But to together with people we can find a solution to uh, such problems that is what we are really we are uh, uh, really hopeful that uh, once we sit with the people so many uh, solutions will emerge from sitting together uh, 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 around a table and uh, discuss these things so solutions will emerge from such uh, uh, dialogues and such meetings so um, we are not worried about that we will um, meet the people, we will sit with them, we will be um, uh, interacting with them, uh, and we will, uh, uh, I'm sure that um, many solutions for this particular problem, there are many other problems, but one, this particular problem, many so, uh, solutions from that uh, togetherness can uh, emerge. Yes, also, could you please give us uh, an idea about how your campaign will be and what are the other issues that you're going to raise in this year? You see, uh, the it is a parliament uh, uh, election, Lok Sabha election. So definitely uh, national issues. National issues, uh, again, I as I said, uh, the uh, it is a do or die situation. 
if uh, not now then uh, never that is the situation uh, that is the extent of the uh, encroachment of uh, fascist forces into the uh, uh, into the uh, 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 socio political economic life of the people and along with the corporates it's that double edged uh, uh, sword on the one side it is the fascist uh, communal fascist forces on the other edge it is the corporate so it's a deadly combination so uh, to save uh, this country from that deadly combination uh, that is the uh, major issue national issue we will discuss when we say that uh, to uh, defeat those forces that also mean that to save the constitution and its values and uh, uh, the the uh, what is there in the constitution right to life with the dignity that dignity right to life uh, with a dignity if uh, that is to be ensured then you will have to find solution to the uh, 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 you will have to provide education you will have to find a uh, solution to the unemployment problem you will have to have a decent life you so equality irrespective of gender caste everything so all lot of things are uh, uh, involved within that in that one right to life with dignity which is that is the core of the indian constitution so safeguarding that constitution and its uh, 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 the values of uh, uh, the, the constitution particularly the democracy and the secularism uh, uh, and the right to life with dignity these are the uh, important uh, issues which we have we are raising and also definitely of course uh, uh, though it is a, a, a parliament election lok sabha election that doesn't mean that no local issues or, uh, will be raised definitely there will be issues and we will raise it we will again it is uh, we believe in uh, uh, in 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 uh, standing uh, with the people uh, that will uh, give you lot of uh, solutions to any problem so that is where uh, we are uh, as a candidate of vinard i trust in that uh, uh, that uh, unity of people uh, uh, of vinard the constituency and uh, together with the people uh, we will uh, find solution to the local problems also and i i i am not claiming that 100% perfectly everything can be done uh, in, in uh, with some magic uh, this thing no but um, uh, we can let us uh, we will try together that is what i am confident in that and i am sure um, all the 20 constituency the candidates are uh, the left candidates are uh, having this hope the uh, the people will be with us that is our uh, hope and that is our uh, uh, the confidence yes ma'am uh, so when we talk about vinard how do you assess uh, vinard sitting mp rahul gandhi no, that uh, actually that should be uh, analyzed by the people. It mm -hmm. is not uh, 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 why should I do that? Uh, that uh, that people will do that. That uh, uh, because uh, the sitting uh, MB how uh, how much he was available and how he the MB intervened and uh, stood with them. All those things. It is uh, the people. They will assess and analyze. And they will uh, 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 vote accordingly. So in, the, in there, we definitely will think that uh, we believe that uh, uh, people. Uh, you see, one thing is that we are elect getting elected. After getting elected, it is people's representative. The who, those who are uh, elected are or uh, is people's representative. People's representative means that. Uh, uh, they, that representative should be there with the people in uh, all the situations. And it is not the charity of the representative, but the right of the people of that constituency, whether voted uh, in favor or uh, voted against. But once get, getting elected, it is the, 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 the entire uh, constituency people, the citizens, they uh, it is their right to have their uh, uh, representative. So people will analyze and assess, and they will uh, vote accordingly. It is not that that is uh, that is the 
responsible citizens will do that and uh, our uh, uh, voters are very, very responsible. Uh, I was asking, uh, you have been with the party since you are a student and you are from Irriti, right. Kanur, and yeah. which is very near to INR also. And now you are also party's phase in Delhi. So I was asking, how will you sum up your political journey so far? So uh, at the age of three, I uh, the first time I called uh, the, my party's flag, the CPI flag, since then, um, uh, whether uh, when I was in uh, a student federation AISF or uh, then uh, when while I was a student, my party has asked me to take up the charge of uh, uh, district secretary of Kerala Mahila Sangam. So I started that, though I was not uh, uh, at all aware of uh, the gender question or gender equality or feminism, nothing of that. But party asked me to uh, uh, take up that responsibility. So as a disciplined party cadre, I uh, took up that in, uh, uh, that responsibility. Then later on, uh, uh, I was one of the, uh, I was elected as one of the uh, state assistant secretary of Kerala Magala Sangam, where uh, Meenakshi Tamban was the president and uh, CK Sali was the uh, general secretary. And uh, then uh, during that time only uh, the party has taken me or elected me to the party state council as a candidate member. So then um, uh, after marriage, I had to shift. Uh, I still continue to have my party uh, card and uh, participated in party activities, not uh, full time, but uh, uh, Whenever it was possible for me, I participated because I we I we, along with the family I had to shift to Delhi, and uh, then I was uh, not uh, a full timer uh, for uh, uh, some five six years. Then after that, uh, I continued uh, my uh, party work, and uh, party has asked me to take up the uh, responsibility of uh, strengthening or mobilizing women and women's organization. So it is like that. So uh, for me, um, Vainad is not a new place because uh, as uh, Kerala Mahila Sangam's um, uh, assistant secretary, I, wa I, have, uh, I, wa I was given the responsibility of uh, five northern districts, Kasaragod, Kannur, Calicut, uh, Vainad, uh, Malapuram, uh, Palkad, uh, like that. So I was uh, very frequently uh, going to um, Vyanad, even when I, uh, for even for the student uh, federations program as well as Maglasang, Kerala Maglasangam's program, and I uh, 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 visited uh, almost uh, every mandals or uh, uh, many uh, panchayats of uh, uh, Vyanad, and only one difference is that that time. Uh, I was Ani Thomas. Now I am Ani Raja. Nothing uh, uh, other than that. There is nothing uh, new for me because uh, I, I I I was very much there, uh, 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 going to the villages, meeting people, uh, particularly women. Uh, and when uh, they for the when I go there for. Uh, um, the students meeting, then it is the students and their parents like that. So, and um, uh, it's very, I'm very close to it. I'm not actually in Iriti. I'm in Arlam Panchayat. My uh, home is at Vattaparamba. So from there, it is um, uh, hardly one hour to uh, cross to Vayanad. So uh, it is uh, nothing. Uh, for me, Vayanad is, uh, uh, I can say that uh, I like uh, Kannur, Vayanad is also my stepping uh, uh, yeah, that uh, uh, that uh, the politics and political activities, basic things uh, uh, I have learned from Vayanad. These two state assistant secretary of same for me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, also, I want to ask about left politics in India and how it has evolved because when we look at like in 2024, when we are talking, uh, 
the left like communist parties doesn't have much uh, effect like political effect uh, like i'm talking about uh, election and electoral politics in uh, many states other than kerala or bengal or, or tripura so what do you think went wrong for the left politics in india see it's a larger question it's a uh, we need to discuss that uh, we can have a separate discussion on that uh, uh, once the uh, the communist party was the main opposition party in parliament but uh, now yes you are right uh, we are not uh, uh, in electorally that uh, uh, strong enough now uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, uh, communist party is not or parties left parties are not uh, uh, or it is there only in a few uh, states uh, which you mentioned no you uh, traveled from kashmir jammu kashmir to uh, southern states or uh, northeast to uh, gujarat and uh, uh, barring one or two states of the northeast we the left parties are there in almost every state and taking up people's issues locally and uh, uh, many huge demonstrations and uh, uh, struggles we are carrying out. Yes, it is. We are also uh, sometimes wonder. Uh, the people uh, uh, join us for their uh, uh, struggles, for the uh, struggles, people struggle. We Whatever calls we give, people join with us. But uh, that uh, 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 sometimes did not convert into votes. That is, uh, sometimes we also... Um, uh, get a uh, uh, little puzzled why uh, it is so. So in today's um, uh, electoral politics and election itself, uh, the, the entire character, even today you see uh, how the uh, Rajya Sabha elections have gone uh, in UP, what happened, now what is happening in Himachal Pradesh. So uh, the, the, uh, the ruling party, the uh, BJP and its allies, they have no uh, uh, no political morality. They have uh, actually, um, uh, I don't know, maligned the end there. The, the, um, it's a great service. To, uh, 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 politics means uh, 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 party politics, electoral politics. These are all a service to the people. But now it has all uh, that has gone. The service to the people has gone. Now uh, only power is the power for what? Power is to uh, to to fulfill your hidden agenda or open agenda, uh, which is against the interest of the people uh, and the country. Uh, and for that, you are, you are taking the support and uh, through. Uh, giving all the uh, facilities to the corporates. So this is what is what uh, what we are now. You uh, purchase. It is nothing but uh, uh, sort of many uh, spokespersons are coming uh, uh, for, uh, to the BJP uh, as BJP panelists in the media. We can see that they are professionals. So they are paid, and um, uh, today they will be in. Uh, they will spoke uh, speak for uh, BJP, and tomorrow they will. Uh, be some other party or today they will be speaking for the Congress or uh, ne next day will be uh, this sort of no ideological base. This is uh, an issue uh, today. But uh, uh, while uh, when we talk about the left, yes, there are uh, many some of uh, uh, the Indian reality actually uh, uh, is or uh, um, uh, is uh, the, the caste is an Indian reality. Caste and class these two things we um, uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, we were more focusing on the class struggle um, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, caste was uh, not a concern for us it was a concern for us but uh, not uh, equally with uh, the class uh, uh, struggles so that is uh, one that uh, when the and their um, uh, the the uh, bihar and all the separate uh, movement came and uh, um, uh, that that had an impact on communist party uh, in, a communist party means uh, the people and uh, so since then uh, we are also uh, struggling because we cannot uh, dilute uh, our politics our ideology for winning 10 votes and two seats that is where uh, uh, this uh, big problem uh, which you are saying we are uh, 
the shrinking electorally. Uh, we are shrinking definitely electorally, but our presence is there in almost uh, all states. And we are in all the states, we are taking up people's issues. Uh, that's all, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs>